to kind of tie all this together, you know, I've kind of been, I feel like I've been going kind of fast, covering a lot of ground, but kind of want to sum this up for you guys. You want a website built to convert with separate pages for your services and separate cities you serve, right? That's, that's the bare bones stuff you want to do. You want to have your keywords dialed in with the geo modifier, which geo modifier means the city pages. Like for that particular city, you want that page dialed in for that particular city, right? You don't want any cross mingling. You don't want a Dallas. You don't want Fort Worth on this page and Dallas on the same page, right? Because then Google's like, well, well, where do you service? You would want separate pages for those particular cities. You want unique content. You want multimedia to uh, enhance the time on the page, right? If you got any good uh, videos. Pictures can be is uh, you know media as well, right? I showed you guys some team photos, branded trucks, offices, anything branded, showing that you're a real, authentic, trustworthy company. Put that on your website. Put that on your Google My Business profile. Videos you have, uh, put that on your on your website. That'll help your time on page. Get on online reviews across the web. Get the citations and the consistency across those citations dialed in. Get unique content updated to your google my business profile and website um i haven't really mentioned touch on that too much but you can do google my business posting and google sees that obviously right you can put new pictures on there new content on there um that'll drive some traffic and also drive some traffic over to your website so updated content you know to your social media profiles your google my business listing and your website is important get the links and authority going and then from a keyword aspect too, I kind of already touched on this and I've already showed you guys some high converted keywords, but you can get more and more keywords by leveraging paid search to get the, I mean, you can track it all the way back, right? You can see exactly what people type in. And if you're hopefully the company you're working with or yourself are tracking that through call tracking and you can see, man, like this keyword just landed this $20,000 job. I think it'd be smart for us to keep going after that keyword, right? Would it not? I mean, one phone, I mean, we've seen it where, uh, you know, it just blows my mind when people don't want to run paid traffic or do, do SEO. I mean, I've seen an $8 click, you know, land a $24,000 job. There's no ROI you can get out there. I mean, you know, not to go on a tangent, but I'd say that's a good ROI, right? And yes, I know every click's not going to end up to, to be in that. But I'd say um, an $8 click to $24,000 job, I, I would be, I'd be ramping that up if it was me. Um, so yeah, just think, keep that in mind. And then obviously, remember, you can take those keywords and, and, and roll that into your SEO strategy. Um, to where you don't have to pay. Yes, you're gonna, it's gonna take a little while to get that ranking, but then once you ranking organically, the beautiful thing about that is that that'll get your cost per lead down, your cost per conversion down, because you don't have to pay for the click organically, right? It's, um, yeah, you, you're, you're going to have to pay somebody to get there. You're not just going to get there overnight. Unless you're doing it yourself and you can, it's just going to take some while to get there. Just understand that. But it's free clicks, right, once you get there. And this is like a little more condensed version of what I just talked about to kind of help have all this uh, categorized a little better for you guys. You know, the on-page, the ongoing content, the Google My Business, and then the signals, right, the E, the expertise, authority, and trust. So all of this will kind of tie into that and you kind of want, you know, all these are, are a piece of the puzzle as I showed you guys, right? Hope you got value out of that video. If you're looking for more ideas and strategies for better ways to market your water, mold, or fire damage restoration business online, you can go to restorationmarketinggroup.com and there we have a free checklist you can download. It's called the Ultimate Online Marketing Guide for Damage Restoration Contractors. And there you'll be able to get the latest strategies that are working now to really increase your lead flow online. You could probably even 5 to 10x the number of leads you're getting per month um, from internet marketing. So there should be a link below, um, restorationmarketinggroup.com. And there you can download the checklist for free of charge. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.